taking a look at Psalm 58. When was the last time you heard this psalm recited by anyone in a church? Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. Let them be as cut in pieces, as a snail which melteth. Let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man may say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges in the earth. Boy, that is, that is one powerful psalm. That is a curse to the wicked. It's a curse. Do you know that the righteous have that authority to curse situations and people? Do you remember the 40 children that came out of the woods and mocked Elisha and said, Go thou up, bald head, baldy. And he turned, looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she-bears came out and tore them to pieces. God is not mocked. Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm.